everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. Remember, my name's Justin and this is where we drink random drinks to see what they taste like, how they taste, and if you're going to like them or not. Hit the subscribe button and we part, be part of the family. Guys, what, like I said yesterday, we got a new drink today. I told you we bought several. This is one of the several that we bought. Me and Pretty Lady wanted to try these to the same, so we actually got two of these. This is is a very interesting drink as i could say i don't know why it's kind of the same as yesterday not really but one ingredient is um this is from epic brewing company in uh denver colorado and it's called sour brainless all right uh cellar reserve it's on guava and habanero and it says epic brewing company again sour brains there you go that's the front it's a pretty cool little bottle Old school uh, taper tree on it, type of tree. Um, it's 6.6% alcohol per volume. Um, it says the intense and complex sour character of this beer is developed in oak photos containing select cultures of Lactobaculus, uh, Pediococcus, and wild yeast. Yeast. Uh, the process is slow and delicate, regularly taking a year or more. So this beer alone is already over a year old from the time that I bought it. Um, once our brewers have decided it's ready, we blend the sour soured beer into hand-selected oak barrels with fresh fruit, pure, and where it will undergo, undergo additional sour fermentation and aging. So this bottle is probably a year and a half old just, just to drink inside. It's pretty cool. That's a very oddity, very weird oddity of the craft. Um, you are holding a brewmaster selected blend of those barrels. We took our time crafting this beer, and we hope you will take yours enjoying it. And I'm going to. We're not going to finish this whole thing on the video because Pretty Lady wants to try it before we open up the other one and make sure she likes it. Um, so, as usual, I'm not just going to down the beer. I want to enjoy it. So we're going to taste it. We're going to try it and see how it works. First of all, i got to figure out how to open it. Because, just like several other whiskeys, this has a waxed on top. And I gotta figure out how to open this thing. And I'm not entirely sure or where this thing starts at being open. Or because there's no like tab anywhere really on it to figure out where to actually open this bottle. Mm. I don't have my pocket knife in here either. What do we got in here? This blade's sharp just from holding it with my finger. Alright, let's see what if this opens it that way or not. Right. Alright. I think we're getting it. Slowly. Alright. Not sure if that's the right way to open that or not. But we got it open. I feel like that was a very uh, hard way to open it. Yeah, that's wax. That was di very difficult to open. Is it a twist top? No, it's not a twist top. That was uh, very difficult to open. All right, so. Oh, wow. That smells really good. Uh, I gotta get this right. All right, so like we did yesterday, we're going to pour a little bit into this glass so you guys can see what color this bottle is. I'm actually pretty curious because it kind of looks like it's yellow. Oh. There it is. That's the color it got. It's more like a peach. 
I'm guessing that's the color of the guava juice. Uh, I've never had guava juice before, so I don't really know what guava tastes like. But, so that's the color. I'm going to leave this here so you guys can see the color. Um, don't worry, guys. I do drink this. I don't waste it or anything like that. So, keep that in mind. We don't waste here. So, cheers. It's weird. The wax touched my lip. Oh, wow. Wow. That is very tart. Very sour. Very fruity. Definitely, uh, definitely can tell that it's pure fruit. Nothing like, no additives, no, nothing like that. It's got a fresh taste right off the bat. It's not like it's, uh, it doesn't taste like a preservative or anything, like a falsified flavor, uh, like a concentrate or anything like that. It tastes genuinely like a fruit. It is very, very good. It definitely has a sour part in there. That's why I wanted it, it's sour. Um, I didn't, same as like yesterday, the first drink, I didn't get any of the habanero in there. Um, yesterday's drink, it was kind of on the back side of it. After you drank a couple times, you was able to taste it. So I guess we'll see how far along we'll go before we taste anything. But definitely. That is so good. That is so good. So the reason why I'm excited about this being so good in a drink is this drink, I don't know if you see it or not, that glare is really bad, was $10. This one beer was $10. Sour brainless, guys. You had it here. It was great. Uh, don't you worry. Tastes amazing. Smells just as good. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smells good. Tastes good. Fresh. All the words that I can think of is this. This is something you want to try. Again, I got this from that local place that I talked about yesterday. It's called the Train Station in Hickory, North Carolina. And if you can get there, get close to it, go check it out. This is something you definitely want to try. It's amazing. If you like tarts, you like sour ales, stuff like that, this is something you want, guys. That is very, very good. I genuinely think Pretty Lady's going to love this one. So, we're going to go let her try it, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Remember, we buy it so you guys don't have to. We try it so you guys don't have to. Hope you guys have had a wonderful day. And I hope you continue to have a wonderful evening and an even better night. Remember, I buy it so you guys don't have to. I try it so you guys don't have to. You never know what we're going to drink. You never know what we're going to try, but we do it. So, don't worry. Don't think. Don't fret. Hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the family. Hit that like button. Helps me promote the video. Help me get out there to see more people. Don't forget, leave some comments below if you want to see me do anything or try anything different that you would prefer. And I'll see what I can do about getting it. <coughs> Till then, guys, y'all have a blessed evening, and I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow with a new mixed drink or new ale that you guys are going to want to see as well. I am excited for it. Me and Pretty Lady's been waiting on that one as well. So, guys, have a wonderful night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.